Today is Wednesday, December 9th. I am coming to you today from just a portion of a country. It's not a country. It's not a city. It's not a state. It's just an area of a country. And that's kind of weird to say because it's such a big area. It is 5.1 million square miles. So I know my fifth grade friends are learning about area in math. So imagine 5.1 million square miles. That's pretty big. It is three quarters of its country's land mass and almost 10% of the Earth's surface. Yet it is one of the least populated sections of the world with only seven or eight people per square mile. When I think of this area of the world, I think of a place that's very cold. And indeed, it does get very cold here in the winter. It is oftentimes around negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit. But in the summer, it's warm, sometimes even reaching as much as 95 degrees in the western part of the world. Now, here's something maybe we need to do with our kindergartners that they do in this part of the world. To build their immune systems, they send the kindergartners outside in the freezing cold weather and dump freezing cold water over them while they are in their underwear. <laughs> I can't imagine anyone ever letting anyone do that in the United States. Thank goodness. So right now I'm standing in front of the deepest lake in the entire world. This is called Lake Baco. It's 5,387 feet deep. The water is crystal clear. If you look carefully, you can see as far as 130 feet below the surface. So for all of you who think Joe Exotic is the Tiger King, you're actually wrong because this is the real Tiger King. This tiger is from this part of the world. The average tiger here weighs 375 pounds. The males can reach up to 600 pounds, which is actually heavier than a grand piano. They are endangered and there are only about 500 left in the wild. Please stand and join Miss McPhillips class in the Pledge to the Flag, Miss D'Amico's class for the Metcalf mission statement, and then remain standing for a brief moment of silence. At Metcalf School, we believe all students can achieve Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. This part of the world is home of the world's longest railway. It is 5,800 miles long, and it would take you seven days to travel from one end to the other. The place we're talking about today is so remote and out of the way that people here in America kind of use it as a metaphor for any place that you don't want to go or some place that you'd get sent for a punishment like you didn't do your homework. You're going to have to go to fill in the blank or they'll be like, I can't believe you're going camping all the way up there. Oh, my gosh. Why are you going to? blank and fill it in with the place where we are. But what these people don't realize is even this particular part of the world, they have a Cinnabon, an Ikea, and a TGI Fridays. I mean, what more could you possibly want? 
Last week, I was at the Great Wall of China, and we had a lot of classes that got it right. A couple of classes had the words out of order, said like the Great China Wall. I took it; it was fine. But these are the classes that had it right: Mrs. Scott, Mrs. Duraka, Mrs. Bukachi, Mrs. Murdoch, Mrs. Millard, Mrs. Geyer, Miss Lobo, Mrs. Goldman, Miss Ryan, Mrs. Ewing Chow. Miss D'Amico, Mr. Buco, Mrs. McPhillips, Mrs. LeClaire, Mrs. Wilbur, and Mrs. Barber. So great job. Send me where I am today. Remember, it's not a country, it's not a city, it's just an area of the world. Have a great day.